Okay, so now we're going to talk about how to use the sensors in coordination with the wave block um, when you're taking actions to move from place to place and you want the sensors to be triggered um, and you want those sensors in turn to trigger another action instead of, uh, for example, using a number of rotations to move forward or turn. Instead, you will uh, use the sensor to make the action choice that comes next. And so uh, the weight block is super duper important for all of these things. Uh, it's, uh, it's so many kids or uh, people want to go in and use the sensor blocks when they're moving the robot around. In fact, this is more for the scientific sort of experimental uh, use of the sensors. Um, or they're used in ways that I don't understand yet because I'm just learning myself. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the all-important weight block out here. Okay. Now it's very, very, uh, it's almost like reading when you are reading the code and, and using the weight block uh, in conjunction with uh, actions because uh, you always want to have something going on, then you want the weight block and whatever sensor you've selected to react um, and um, behave how you want and then you want something else to happen so if this then that then that so uh, let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and say I, I want to use the ultrasonic sensor so if I'm using the ultrasonic sensor um, and uh, I'm gonna use that and the weight block to trigger the ultrasonic sensor and then I'm gonna have a command afterwards now uh, when I go ahead and I attach the weight block uh, the first of all first thing I have to do is make sure I have a reason for the weight block to do something Okay, and so when I have one rotation, this is a finite or ending function right now. So when it's one rotation, it stops. So there's no reason for the sensor to be used right now because it's stopping after one rotation. So this is where I have to go ahead and turn my motors on, on forever until something happens with my weight block. So I'm going to go ahead and select the ultrasonic sensor. The ultrasonic sensor is at the front of the robot. It's the the, the beaming eyes in the front, okay? What it does is it sends out a, um, a echo, kind of like a bat, to um, bounce forward off the surface, okay? And then bounce back to the ultrasonic sensor that it, so that it can tell how far away something is. So uh, in this case, I'm gonna get it to compare distance in centimeters, so how far away in centimeters it is from something. And you see that the block comes up with a, a new set of configuration. I like using the less than. So if the motor running for at 50% power, running forever, becomes less than, now you could go ahead and it gets equal to, or less than, or equal to, or greater than, in which case you'd probably be backing away from something to, before you turn. But if it gets less than, uh, let's say I'm gonna change this to 25 centimeters, so how this is how far away it is away. So if the motor running forever, if it gets less than 25 centimeters away from whatever it's going to be uh, going towards, then I want it to do something. And in this case, I'm going to say turn off. Now, a lot of people want to go ahead. If they have to turn when they get close to something and they're using the ultrasonic sensor, a lot of people go ahead and they just put the turn in the next part. I always recommend making sure that you actually have the motor turn off before it does its next function such as turning or whatever else you wanted to do because this is a very clear set of programs on until off done so let's go ahead and see if this works I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn my robot on if I go ahead and I pl press play right now I should see the wheels just turn and turn and turn and turn and turn non-stop because the weight sensor has not been triggered yet. There's nothing uh, on the, the ultrasonic sensor has not become a certain, less than a certain distance. If I go ahead and put my hand up here, though, as a barricade, when it gets less than 25 centimeters away, it should stop, just like it does. It recognized that it was less than 25 centimeters away. Another recommendation I have is that you, and this is why I like the move tank block for this, is that you make it sort of, uh, slower because it gives the sensor more time to recognize, the ultrasonic sensor more time to recognize uh, that it is in closer. So your measurement for distance will be more accurate if you have it going slower. So if I press play now, you'll see the robot move slower, creeping up, and then it stops very precisely. 
and then it turns off like it does. And then of course I could go up here if I wanted and I could select a move steering block and I could get it to steer to the right or whatever and it would do that after it turns off. And there's no delay um, if you have the stop and a turn off there. But here it's going to go forward, it's going to move less than 25 and then turn right just like I programmed it to do. So that's how you use the ultrasonic sensor. And it's very, very similar using the weight block for a range of other sensors. The color sensor, uh, the uh, touch sensor are all sensors that um, you use through the weight block to determine the next course of action. And uh, I'm going to make separate videos for those two. There you go.